May, dude, you okay? Whoa. Got all sleepwalky there for a sec. You want me to carry you? No, I think I'm good. I'm just very, very tired. Hang in there for a bit if you need to. We're safe. Uh huh. Hey, there's light over here. Did you smell that? <laughs> smell the light? I bet he did. Can I go back? Yeah, I guess I just walked the whole thing. Like, it was nothing. It's crazy. Can I go back all the way? No. Yeah, spooky. What is this? Might be a vent or something. Keep the miners from suffocating way back when. It's old enough at least. Question mark? Oh sure. Hello! We're down here! Don't ask us why please! Could get lucky when someone's out here in the woods at night. I... I can try to make it out. No, I can like... Okay, yeah. Are you up for this? <laughs> yeah. Yes. I don't know. I'm like all hyper now. Like dolphins. Hyper? Like dolphins? No, like when your body's like, uh, whoa, I almost died. And you get all hyper because you're filled with dolphins. <laughs> My body's filled with dolphins? Okay, I'm seriously confused. Are you okay, May? Endorphins. Ah, okay. There, thank you, those. Okay, well, ride those dolphins up out of here. Ugh, that's just when I can even do this. We'll watch. Okay. You can do this, May. Been doing this your whole life. Oh, all of a sudden music. I guess this is supposed to be like inspirational music that we're getting out. Fell down. <laughs> I don't appreciate this music. Oh, I should have listened to it more. It got up too fast. Oh, sorry if you guys hear that. It's like a uh, election night right now in uh, Korea. It's a lot of like cars are blasting out who to vote for. This place, huh? Hey, May. Germ. Yeah. What are you doing out here? I live right up the hill. I heard Greg yelling. We were all stuck down there. You, you were at the bottom of the well in my backyard? It's been a really bad night. Sounds like it. Got any rope or something? Yeah. Can you go get it? <laughs> hey, May. Yeah? Was that? Germ? Yeah, he's getting some rope. What is he doing out here? He lives here. In the woods? Well, he did say he lives in a tree, like a bird. Weeze. My entire body hurts. That was a long way. I brought some sodas. You're the best, Germ. You need the sugar and caffeine. Oh, uh, anyone else want to get far away from this well? Yup. Germ, can you like, I don't know, seal up this well? Hmm. I got dynamite- <laughs> What?! Yeah, what?! <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can get some. How big an explosion is that? I mean, not small? Okay, that works. Thanks, Germ. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Um, okay. Bye, guys. <laughs> Off to get some dynamite, I guess. Jesus. There goes a weird, weird guy. He saved our lives. Germ is good. Germ is a good man. It strikes me that we just murdered all of those dudes down there. 
how do you figure? Well, I mean, the elevator's broken, and we caused a cave-in. That was self-defense, I guess, but we did cause the deaths of like a dozen guys. No, 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 they're all still alive down there. Oh god. Yeah. She's... Well, we're blameless. They attacked us. One of them attacked us. So we're worrying about, like... It's morally gray. We're not murderers. Like, if we had a choice, we wouldn't have done it. I would have. Oh. Oh, Angus. Uh. What? They, like, killed people. They were trying to get us to kill people. Yeah, they killed like 39 people. Screw them. I don't even believe in hell, and I hope they all go straight there. Jeez, Angus. Well, that's what I think at least. Hmm. It's like that trolley thing. What trolley thing? Okay, I'll explain it if we keep walking. I think they're talking about like, um, who do you save, right? Like you can choose to uh, pull the lever to so like there's a trolley. Yeah, okay, so there's a trolley and there's people in the trolley, right? Um and there's and there's two paths which trolley can go. On one path there's only one person, and on the other path, uh, there's a whole family. So you have to pull the lever to choose whether you kill the one person or the family that's on the track. I think that's how it goes. Something like that. Hey guys! Uh, are you there? Well, I can't move the mouse. Anyone? Okay, I'm gonna type anyway. Hard for me to say anything smart about what the hell even just happened. Easier for me to get it all out here, and I need to talk. Even if you jerks are off doing whatever. I don't even understand life. I think you get taught that you have a lot more control of the world than you do. I just walked into all this horrible stuff that was already happening. We all did. And I guess that's really scary. Like, who knows what's gonna happen? But I guess you can, like, connect things. Or connect to things. Sometimes you need someone to be the thing you don't have. Even if it's something you're supposed to already have. All of you are what kept me from floating off tonight. Also, you kinda killed that guy to save me. Don't think I didn't appreciate that. Well. Good job writing that down. Now there's like documentation admitting guilt of murder. Am I ever going to have a handle on what just happened? I kind of hope not. I just hope it's over. I want us all to get free of it. I don't want us to just be part of some horrible story. I want to like grow giant and pick you all up and carry you someplace safe. Sorry, I'm all rambling now. I just gotta believe there's ways to escape. Or at least move on. Germ! Germ, buddy! Germ, you don't even use Messenger. I guess I'm just typing at you wherever you're at. <laughs> That's it. I think I pretty much love Greg more than anyone ever. I don't know if better friends exist. We're like old shoes that go together. I'm sorry I caused drama between you and Angus, man. Angus, I give you Greg as a gift. Remember to water and feed him. If you ever hurt him, I will kick your ass into the ground. He was mine first. Yep, there it is. Now I'm just gonna erase all that. And just press enter. Oh shit. Haha, -ha, guys, I was just kidding about a lot of that. I'm really tired, I don't know what I'm saying. Log off me. Log off. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh man, this is this is gonna be a long episode. Ah, the music's all nice now. Back to the pretty bells. Ding ding, I missed you. Good morning to you. Messages for me. Dance this, you say. Hey, May. You okay this morning? I'm not opening the pickaxe today. Greg informs me we're doing band practice, though. I'll see you there. Hey? Hey, man. Nice messages last night. I mean, like, really. 
You massive dork. LOL. <laughs> Bad practice today. Because I feel like we need to do something normal. I'm at the smell. Smell fun. Hope you're feeling okay. Sincerely, Gregory. It's good to be alive this morning. That's all. Aw. Poor Casey. Charcoal. So the news. Weather service. Snow in the forecast. Are you ready for what's coming your way? Are you ready that winter's coming? Okay. Okay, epilogue. Stars. Oh, so that means the end already. God. It's us. It's just us. Home and us. I don't know what this feeling is, but I'm not gonna cry today. Yeah, you'll be okay. Oh. Hey, Granddad's clock. Hey, Granddad. Did it change? No, it's the same, right? Oh, wait, but it looks different for some reason. I don't know. Okay, so this is the epilogue. Maybe there's like different stuff down here now. No, it's the same. Okay. So that was a whirlwind of a. I guess a conclusion? I don't know. We're gonna eat you for Thanksgiving, bird. Oh my god. I should like reread some of these. I mean, I got time. And the cozy months are coming. Yeah, wonder time. Shapes from beyond the veil of space. Okay, yeah, let's go with that one. Yeah, since we're all about shapes and space. <laughs> let's see what the back of the book says. Released in 1937. Shapes from Beyond the Veil of Space is a towering achievement and marks the start of the weird gothic genre, an influence on much of 20th and 21st century horror, science fiction, and pulp literature. Shapes is sure to make you question just how far away the night sky is from you at this moment. Cool. Yeah, since you're all about shapes, right? Red shapes on the grass. May, honey, is that you? Yeah. I'm back in the kitchen, if you want to talk. Yeah, let's talk about the murder I committed last night. Hey, sweetie. Hey, mom. How are you feeling? Good enough to jump up here. Yeah, like, you got shot, fell down a mountain. Can you do me a favor and stay home tonight? Why? It's been... I just... I... You're an adult. And you can do whatever you want, but you do live here, and you are still my baby. Aw, Mom. You need to come up with some ground rules, just because. Honey, you could have died the other night, and then you just left to hang out with your friends? I... I... I'm so sorry, Mom. Sweetie, what's going on with you? Um... Yeah, I don't know. I don't even know if I can tell you. Why? I'll understand, I promise. I don't even know how to talk about it yet, I don't think. What happened at school, hun? I don't care what it is, just please tell me. Are you working today? No, me and your father are both off today. I'll be around tonight. We can talk about it then? Sure. You can make breakfast for dinner like we used to. Dad can flip the pancakes in the air. Ha <laughs> sure. Are you going out today? Yeah. Yeah. Can you please stay in town, close? I'm always in town. Yeah, Mom. I think they're getting some of the longest night decorations out. Oh, wow. Calling for some snow, too. That one fast. What did? The fall. Always does, son. Okay, well, I'm off. I love you, sweetie. I love you, too, Mom. What else can we talk about? Are you still reading the same book? Oh no, this is a different one. This one's about people who died in the mines around here. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's very interesting. 
It's got some old songs. Want to hear one? Yeah, sure. Far from here, the ocean's roaring. Far away across the din. I hear the Lord a call their children. Bringing in, bringing in. I'll see you walking through the barley. We'll find each other, friend and kin. I hear the Lord a call the children. Bring them in, bring them in. Tarry with me for a moment. Talk the places we have been. The Lord will call us both to heaven. Bring them in, bring them in. That sounds like God is reaping people. It is, it is nice. I don't know, it's like about, about death and God taking people by death. <laughs> That's it? I guess so, alright. Let's see, who's outside? Long loading screen. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. No work today? I told Bob to shove it. Really? No. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Not gonna sugarcoat it. I hate my job. Why? I've mined, I've made glass, I've done a heap other stuff. But this place, they just don't respect you for working. They don't? Job's supposed to pay you enough to live. Job's supposed to let you provide for your family. Job's supposed to have regular hours. Boss supposed to respect you. Worker's supposed to be able to talk. Worker's supposed to be able to have a life. Worker's supposed to be able to live. Your mom always had to work, but I want to give you and her your time. I want her to have hobbies and enough time and money to do them. That's what made me happy. Now I just work so I can keep our health insurance and hold onto the house. Try to, at least. Is there anything you can do? I mean, you do need a union. It's just easier to say it than get it done. Unions were always there in the mines in the factory, at least for a while. But here? I got something for you. Got out of the basement. How'd you get in the basement? Door in the crawl space. That's spooky. So what I got is... a tooth. A what? Do you know what this tooth is? No. Really? You sure? Yeah, Granddad must have had it from the old days. May, thank you. Wow, looks bright and new. Looks like they just pulled out of the skull yes Oh! It's the when the miners did the strike, right, and then like... Yeah, the miners did the strike to against the boss, but like the boss was pretty horrible, right? Like the bad working conditions or whatever. Uh, and like they stole his tooth, they beat him up and like took all his teeth. <laughs> you show that to your boss and tell him to eat shit. May! Sorry. I'll just keep it with me. Sure thing. May? Yeah? You come down and pick it with us if we walk out? I will breathe fire, Dad. Love you, kitten. Be back later, Dad. What are you doing out here, by the way? Getting early start on our longest night lights plan. Gotta dig them out of the closet. See if they even still work. Can I help put them up? We'll see. Or a small fry. Dad. Dum dum dum. -dum. Just like mom. Ha ha ha. Let's see. What's over here? Weird teenage- Oh, it's snowing! Hey! That's weird that it's snowing here, not snowing anywhere else. Very strange. Hmm. Yeah, the bridge freezes before a road. So I wonder if I can slide. Because it's snowing. Wonder if we'll ever be a big booming town again. Those guys last night were like, deluded. But it'd be really nice if there was a god. I might ask. But I think they'd have to fight the other gods that bled this place nearly to death. I'm like proud of us all for having good ass lives in a shitty, stupid, good ass town. Oh, the snow ended. Oh no. Here's to you, Possum Springs. Here's to survival. Hmm. No, it's not that slippery. I'm not trying to slide. It's not working. Well, it's pretty nice to have a sunset and some snowflakes. <gasps> the 
Hey, Raby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Rabies. <laughs> I bet your life is exciting. Playing with your friends. I mean, you're a champ. You've got to be popular. Eating garbage and common pests. I feel like I'm just glad the world includes you, dude. Alright, I got a jet. See you later, rabies. Stay cool. Stay alive. <laughs> he just disappears. Oh, is that a picture? Trash King rabies. Oh, oh, it's the shapes. Oh, I guess the shapes on the grass is like when you should beat up that guy. Hmm. Little Joe's- oh, yeah, the skull. So is that- no, he still has teeth. I was gonna say, like, is that teeth- that body from the guy who, uh, had his teeth knocked out? But it's not. It's not. Yeah, the snow's nice. And then the snow disappears, right? Let's see if we still have snow. Mm, nope, no more snow. Let's see... What else can we do around here? Hey, Selmers! Hey, May! Sup, Selmers? You okay? After the whole head injury thing? Yeah, I'm alright. Headache is all. I got some migraine meds if you need it. Nah, it's not a migraine. And those things make me have to pee. That's awkward. No, it's the caffeine. If you ever take pills that make you pee, it's the caffeine. I didn't know that. I used to work at the pharmacy. Oh, right. Well, if I ever have a headache, or need to pee, I'll come by. Anytime, neighbor. It's not only caffeine, there's lots of things that are diuretics. Diuretics means it makes you, uh, drain water out of your system. Snow coming. It's gonna be bad this year. That's it? Ah, I see him up there! Wait, Selmers, how come you didn't say that anybody was up there? Yeah, you're not talking to me. Oh, there's like one snowflake that kind of exists and it melts. But it's still, still autumn leaves. Chaznikov! Hey, me. Hey, Mr. Chaznikov. Got any more dust stars we can look at? One more. Only one? Aww. Ouch. The eyes. Hmm, where can it be? Probably in the center, huh? Yep. Found it! Let us consult the guide. Ooh, this little campfire. The fire maker. The fire maker? A wanderer in the cold and dark, making a fire and huddling up to it. For light and warmth. Sounds festive. Sounds like survival. Hmm. This star makes me want to cry. Crying? On my roof? Do you wish to talk about it? No, it's fine. Is it a happy cry or a sad cry? I don't know. I don't have great words for it. It is okay. Sometimes too many words. Yeah. Thank you for this. Thank you for joining me. I think we have discovered them all? Well, we didn't really discover them, right? I mean, someone else already saw them and named them, wrote a whole bunch of stuff about them, and we just, like, found what they made for us. Is that not a discovery? Not really. Maybe not in the historical sense. We did not create the stars or name them, but we had these autumn afternoons and found them together. Isn't that something? Something, something, something. My granddad said something like that once. Something about a story having really happened, because hearing it happen to you. That is nice. That's not bad. It's pretty cool. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Nine of them. Looks cool. That was a bummer that we're all done. So what now? Supermoon is coming. What is that? A giant moon! Ooh, that does sound super. You must come meet me when it happens. It will be late at night. There will be others on their roofs. You come. I will make hot chocolate. What a time! 
That sounds great. I want to see a supermoon. Land on it. See you later, Mr. Chazikov. See you soon, Stargazer. New picture. Erskine. Erskine the Firemaker. So I guess we're supposed to be survivors, right? So all these stars are kind of like themes of the chapter. So we're a survivor. Oh, oh, I fell off. My bad. Is there anything up there? I don't remember if there's people up there or not. I don't think so. Um, let's go up the church. Hey, there's lights! Snow lights, or starlights. And yeah, I guess it is snowing a bit now. Some little snowflakes here and there. It's kind of cool how they slightly glow. Who's in the church? Pastor Kate? Oh my god, why does this church take so long to load? I don't understand. Because half the time, or like most of the time, nobody's even in it. Someone in today? Yeah, see, like nobody's even freaking in it. Why does it take so long to load? It's so weird. Again, mom's not here either because she has a day off. Right? Nobody at the desk? Yeah, no at the desk. Okay. Maybe she's outside then. I right, kick that door open. Yeah. Yeah, Bruce is gone. I guess he committed suicide. That's pretty. It's pretty grim. Hey. Oh, the tent is gone. Hey. Well, hey there, May. What are you doing? Oh, just cleaning up. How did the council vote go? We lost. I lost. It was just me pushing for it, really. We've got all this empty space. Could use it for so many things. But... We tried. All we can do. And God will show up when the time is right. Bruce was my friend. Mine too. Bruce is my friend too. You need some help cleaning the space up? That'd be nice, May. There's a rake up back in the shed behind the church. Oh, I can't do it now, but... <laughs> what a long day. Nothing else to say? Yeah, it's weird how they're saying was my friend instead of is my friend. Because if he's alive, it'd be is. Hey, teens. Not gonna say anything? Nothing? Okay, bye. Weirdos. I feel like there should be an event there, but... Oh well. Didn't work out. <laughs> Pastor Kate Young. Ooh, there's a cemetery back there, too. Hmm. I wonder if it's the same cemetery we went to. Probably, right? It's this far away looking. 